Today's road test video is our 1970 300 SEL 6.3 Mercedes. It is, in my opinion, the uh, 500E of its day, the barnstormer that runs across any continent you'd like in superb comfort and power. So, let's go. Okay, well, let's fire it up. as a proper Mercedes should. We say this on occasion, but uh, only when it's absolutely true. This is one of the nicest 300 SEL 6.3s we have had over the years. I mean, from the structure, the, pre the previous ownership, the provenance from new, the cosmetics, the interior, the veneer, the mechanical condition, the gaps, it is everything working, the air conditioning, the service records. So we're going to uh, just let the car speak for itself a little bit. It is smooth as could be, it is rock solid, um, shifts exceptionally well. Don't mind that little bit of knock. That was because uh, Jason didn't set the seat in the right position. So yeah. now it's in the right position. And I think he actually just acknowledged me by a proper German, ja. The window's working, radio's working. Uh, awesome large sunroof. I mean, awesome large sunroof. That is awesome. And uh, a fastidious previous owner it's just one of the best great color common tone and the black roof um, I think we're gonna make this a quick one because everything is exceptional right now the air conditioning is on and it's actually cold because it's uh, it is fall outside so we don't really need that Let's see, let's try this puppy. This, the radio will work way better if I got out and lifted the antenna. But as you can see, she's working. Headlights, wipers, I mean, that's over the railroad tracks. It just, awesome suspension, brakes in a straight line. Just wonderful in every way. Hello, anything in there? Oh no, just a clean, non-smoked-in ashtray. All right, well, we're all warmed up and we are going to take a new route today because we are already on the curvaceous road. We do realize that everything is working properly and it goes exceptionally well, which we'll show you on the farm road on the way back. But we're looking for a new route here. This really is the 500D of the day. Man, it's cool. We'll run through suburbia, a couple of more twisties. Nothing too quick, but just around town. It is magnificent in every way. Jason, are you comfortable? I am beyond comfortable. I mean beyond comfortable. I am beyond comfortable. Let's get on a little bit and show you can hear. I mean, for 1970, goes like hell. Corners really well. I mean, it's quiet as can be probably one of the best cars you could tour anywhere with, with comfort for four and luggage space. Kind of crazy. We've had many of these. This one's really dialed in well. It's really exceptional. So, Jason is going to get out and talk to himself for a little while while we do the flyby.
Okay, so heading towards our uh, farm road, I think we did tell you before how quiet and smooth the car is, but when you do get on it, it does have a little bit of a growl. Nothing major, but it shows its uh, net worth as far as the power output. We're going to turn on to the farm road now. That's the FFR. Yeah, the FFR. And uh, treat it as if we're on, um, you know, the Autobahn in a minute, because we could be. And uh, again, show its net worth as far as power. So it is happy cruising along all day long. Comfort, air conditioning, heating, radio, sunroof, windows up, windows down. But when you stomp on it, it just goes like very few vintage sedans can. And I'm sure in the day, this was about as modern as you got because it still feels that way. And it's just a joy to drive. It's just special because it's been cared for, loved, maintained, and there are some really good ones, and then some days you have the mediocre ones, which this is not. So, um, thanks, it's a Monday. Thank you for watching. Thank you for putting up with both of us because it's been one of these days where we needed, you know, start the week out on Monday, but we need a little comic relief, which is basically talking to each other. So, um, you know, yeah, or Thanks looking at look at his green thumb with the foliage. <laughs> but um, thank you for watching. But she's awesome, this one.